Junior Bantamweight Championship fight here. Simon Ramoni against Henrik Mokwana. It's a 10-rounder. They fought before over six rounds. Henrik, a narrow points winner. And tonight, they'll settle the difference with the Transvaal, vacant Transvaal title at stake. To tell you about the officials and what the fight's all about, it's over to the ring announcer, Dennis Tavali. Ladies and gentlemen, time for some great boxing here at the Carousel for the vacant Transvaal Junior Bantamweight title. This one over 10 rounds. On my left, ladies and gentlemen, he's wearing the black and gold trunks, weighing in at 51.84 kilograms. His fight record, nine fights, seven wins and two losses, Simon Ramone. His opponents in the blue and white trunks fighting out of the red corner. He's weighing in at 51.88 kilograms. His fight record, 13 fights, 8 wins, 1 draw and 4 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Hendrik Nkokwane. Three Neil sends them back to their corners. It's the start of 10 rounds. And it's going to be interesting. Henrik Nokwana, the fighter who uh, came up too fast, got stopped in a South African Bantamweight title fight, fell out of the business, but came right back up under Brian Mitchell, and he's doing really well. And that kind of an experience should really help him here in this solid 10-rounder tonight. They're two tearaway little fighters, these. Ramoni regarded uh, year before last as one of the best young prospects in the country. He's only had two defeats, both of them on points. And he's, of he course, by back. far the younger of the pair. And you can see the fact they've been in the ring before with each other because there's very little feeling out process here. They're going to work. Nakwana was really not even considered as a fighter with any uh, pretense whatsoever until he moved into the Brian Mitchell gym. And since being in there, he's had three really outstanding wins. Ramoni, of course, comes from the establishment that produced Jan Bachmann, probably the best prospect we've got in this country for a world title fight right now. <laughs> oh. one, one little piece of concern showing there. Some time ago, and before he joined Brian Mitchell, Henrik Nakwana fought a fighter called Barry Brown, and he had his jaw broken. And now the Ramoni people say, this is their Achilles heel that they're going for. Well, he's really touched him with a good right hand here early in this first round. He seems to have his legs locked up a little bit, but here he comes, Nakwana coming back. Oh, he's a never-say-die type of fighter. Even when he fought Derek Whiteboy, for the South African Bantamweight title. He was way out of his depth, but he kept going and going. But he's in a little bit of trouble right now, is Hendrik. Romani really putting on the pressure and going for him. I love these little guys. I mean, this is, this is the heart and soul of boxing. Yes, they never stepped going. Romani actually using the right hand over the top of the defense and, and that's the punch that he's hoping will catch Nakwana uh, on that perhaps suspect chin excellent first round action here as Nakwani seems to have weathered that earlier storm oh and he's hurt again this time with a left hook yes Ramoni looking for oh and a good right hand there that staggered Nakwana his knees went in there, he was back on the ropes, and he's really going backwards with the punches that are catching him. There's two rights in a row. Both sizing him up for the kill here. Well, that's the end of a really hectic first round. Well, there we see a little bit of that real fierce action that we had from the first round. The, the right hand there from Ramoni went through. That one caught Nakwana. 
and he was really taking the worst of that right hand right through that round. But Ramoni really found the mark there. No, he really caught him solid several times in the round, and it's only a, a, a tribute to his tremendous conditioning that he was able to weather both being hurt twice early in in the fight. He can't do Jim. Will you just clean the? Okay. He can't do. Okay. Well, they're not because Bucky Martin's telling his man in the corner that Ramoni, you can do it. Go out there and take him. So he's hoping for a second round knockout by the sound of it. Let's see how it goes. It'll be interesting to all oh, there's the right hand again. It'll be interesting to see how the conditioning that Ramoni, that uh, Nakwana has received in the Mitchell Gym will stand him up to this because Ramoni is real full of fire and on target. No, he really is, and his adrenaline seems to be surging here, realizing that he's got his opponent in trouble. Yes, it's Ramoni that's doing the, the crisp, accurate punching. Nakwana's blows are going mainly over the top. He's missing with them too often. And he takes another one of those rights right on the side of the jaw. It's, hard, it's hard to have imagined that he's recovered after that hard first round. The shellacking that he took here, and here we see him again in trouble against the ropes, and his legs have betrayed him a little bit here, Leonard. Well, he just doesn't seem to have any answer to that right hand. It's going through, it's catching him either on the cheek or on the point of the chin non-stop. Ramoni is hitting him far too often. Gets one back of his own. That was a good right from the Juan. He needs more of that. Well, he certainly did game here, but he seems outgunned. Uh, oh, he wobbles away from, that was a left hook that wobbled him and followed through, Ramoni did with a right hand, but he's really on top of it here. Ramoni must be careful though, because Squana's uh, looking to set him up with that right hand coming in, hoping he comes in, gets a little bit overzealous. Oh, well, there goes the left hook in again. Tremendous combination punching. Ramoni's really looking good here said this afternoon I'm going to win this fight and go straight into a South African title bout and I think it's that's what's really urging him on. Yeah, Bookie Martin told us as we visited with him here today he thought that this Transvaal title was a perfect stepping stone for his fighter. A little bit of a low shot went in from Nakwana but he is getting hit. He's getting hit from close range by those good Box shots from the Box out there. Box out there. Well, they had a six-rounder six months ago, and that was full of action all the way. Nakwana came through a narrow winner that time, but uh, he's going to have to really pull something out of the bag if he wants to repeat it. They and certainly picked it up where they left oh, off, but here. There's a left hand that stung him, and he's on the ropes here, and he's being punished. Break to that. Romani almost seems like he wants to back up and let his opponent come to him here and set him up for some clean shots. Well, it hurts him again with a left hook this time, Leonard. Twice in a row and twice it looked as though Laquana had to go down, but he stayed on his feet. And he wobbles back to his corner. Brian Mitchell helps him. He's, he's not in a very good state. He's doing well there. I want you to go and win this round for me. He's tired, okay? Okay, it's your turn now. It's two rounds gone. Come on. Push your tongue out. Push your tongue out. Push your tongue out. He's thrown everything there. I like the first fight. The it's mark of an excellent team. trainer here, Brian Mitchell in the corner, okay. finding something positive to talk about and, and putting that into his fighter's mind. With all the negative things that are happening, he didn't touch on any of that. Well, he needs to put something positive because if you see that left hook go in like it did then, uh, two of them really spun the corner into the neutral corner. We see Bookie Martin in the other corner. Well, it's round three Bob, coming up. It's scheduled for ten, Bob. but do you think it's going to go like that, Bob? These two, can these two keep going ten rounds like this? It's hard to imagine. I don't know if we can take this for ten rounds. Again, Romani, he backs up to the ropes, trying to let his opponent come to him to set him up with a clean counter, and that's just what happened. He hit him with a clean right hand. Oh, and the left hook. Oh, he's hurt Oh, down he goes. He's in trouble. 
That was a combination of shots, and he's wobbling. Naquan is wobbling around here. I don't think that referee Neil's not going to let it go on too much longer. But his eyes are glazed. All right. He's badly hurt here, Leonard. I, I don't look for this. But... Uh, one good shot, and he's going to go. Stop! And the referee has stopped it. It's all over in the third round, and it's... Ramoni has done exactly what he and uh, trainer Bucky Martin predicted today. He'd go for him, he'd find the Achilles heel on that jaw, he'd throw right-handers, and he would nail Nakwana. That's exactly what he has done. He told us today, just before lunch, he predicted a knockout in the third round. Tremendous performance here by Romani, and, and you've got to be proud of him and, and happy for Bookie Martin as he as he develops his fighter here. He, he wanted this Transvaal title as a stepping stone for the South African happy title, and you've got to look for his boy to be well on his way to that. Well, that was a, a really good win for Romani. You can see here how he came back, that left hand of his. You know, he started by throwing good right handers. They were telling... The, the toll, but by gosh, that left hand of his was really working overtime and going in perfectly in the latter stages of this fight. Uh, he was landing precise punches throughout the bout, and uh, really, it's only a credit to, to the conditioning and, and the heart and desire of Nafwani that the fight went as long as it did. Well, here we'll get the official result from Dennis Diwali. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes, 16 seconds in the third round. Our winner by technical knockout, Simon Ramone. Well, there you have it. The new Transvaal Junior Bantamweight Champion, Simon Ramone. And a promising looking 22 year old, if ever there was one. Really, he's looking up to his advanced billing here. Might see a new star on the rise here with the Transvaal title as the stepping stone. Also being the new Charles Charles Bantamweight Champion. Congratulations. Give it all the goals.